you can see, Kate Cavanaugh is here! Oh Woo! my god, <laughs> so excited. <laughs> yes. Uh, so she's visiting here in LA on her, is it eight or nine months? Eight months. Eight month road trip, which is so cool and insane <laughs> and amazing um but i thought it might be fun if i gave kate a tarot card reading so i showed her all my decks and mm -hmm. she picked the enchanted tarot and i'm so excited because this is my first reading <laughs> oh this that's ever. right okay so this is your very first reading okay so um what so you have to think of something what did you want to what did you want to what do i want to know about, yeah, what do you wanna know about? Ooh, <laughs> i'm gonna ask how the rest of my trip's gonna go okay like advice advice okay. yeah yeah so i was thinking we're gonna do like a three card reading um and like i said in my previous video normally that's a past present future but i'm just gonna do three general advice cards perfect this guy so i picked one and, and then just put it down and by the way this is a repurchase of this deck because i had given it to uh my friend amy because it was like working for her and not working for me oh um, okay so you are the first you are christening this deck oh my gosh you are okay the first person i'm so excited i have literally owned this deck i think two or three times uh, i really love it it's just sometimes with tarot cards they stop working like you'll know because it'll you make feel it. no sense oh, okay. like you'll literally read it and you'll be like that doesn't apply to me at all oh <laughs> um and then someone else will do it like my friend amy mm -hmm. and every time she did it it was like spot on like i'm like okay these cards are yeah. yours dang yeah. it <laughs> and so i've given like, it was meant to be so, for you <laughs> yes and i've given away so many decks because yeah. of that because wow. i was just like all right, and then I rebuy them because I love them so much and hope yeah. hope that they will work for me again. <laughs> yeah. Can okay. I ask? I don't know. This yeah. is like interrupting. How do you choose when you go to the store? Like which deck you want? Um. Well, in this case, it's, you know, it's kind of interesting because it's like for me, like in this particular case, this was because of a friend of mine that had this deck, mm -hmm. and I just fell in love with it. Yeah. Um. So that was why I chose this particular deck. The only one that I actually picked that wasn't a recommendation was mm -hmm. the one that I did before okay. the animal oracle mm -hmm. one because I'm just more drawn to animals and especially yeah. the druid culture yeah. and all that stuff. So that that was the first time where I just picked one out. I was like, that's mine. Okay. Um, and it was also because the raven was on the cover and that's like, I feel like that's my spirit animal. So Really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's very cool. Okay. Okay. So three cards. All right. You may lift them up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do I just? Yes. Ooh, the higher fan. Now, these are the major arcana cards. Okay. So that means they're more powerful. Oh. So that's good. good. <laughs> Four of pentacles. Okay. Oh, another one. The emperor. Wow. Ooh. Okay. So let's go with the higher fan, even though the emperor came out. Oh, it's right Rules and traditions are based on the sincere desire of our predecessors to preserve what was useful in their time. But your interests are not always best served by blind obedience. The repression of your right to think freely may result in conformity. Still, in many situations, religious moral values and traditions will comfort and sustain you. That's weird. Interesting. Does that... Okay, let's read the next one to see if okay, it applies. Okay, if they can all... Because, mm -hmm. yeah. Because I'm trying to think of what that would mean. Would that blind obedience, like how would that... I mean, I, I guess the trip is kind of different from the norm to begin with. Yeah. But I don't know the... This whole thing may be a whole... <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Okay. Maybe they'll all go together. Yeah, maybe. Or we might have to refilm another one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. The lesson to be learned here is that real power cannot be won with increased wealth. Well, that kind of oh. makes sense. So like going on the road trip. Yeah. Uh, material gains will not satisfy your need for security in this world of change because your true security comes from within. Oh. You must reflect on the quality of your own values and self-worth, for these are precious things that cannot be taken from you, only given away by your own thoughts and actions. Guard against selfishness or, or but, but overprotectiveness. Overprotective. I don't know why that one sticks out with me, but um, yeah. Okay, so that one's good. That one's saying it's kind of exactly what you're doing. Yeah. You're like kind of like screw it. I'm going. I don't yeah. care how much it. You know, it just. Yep. Got to go fun. now. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that seems. This still doesn't make sense to me, but this one yeah. seems more on track. But the emperor.
Your attitude about acquiring and using power and authority is being tested. How do you relate to figures and authority? Act like a leader. You must take charge and use balanced reason power to achieve your goal while convincing others to help you keep your position. Okay, so... <laughs> This, this is like the deck that I'm telling you about. This doesn't make any sense. This is one of those readings that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Should we do another one? Yeah, I guess. I don't yeah. know. So we could do a one card. Do you want to do a yeah. one card? Yeah. All right. I gotta think of it. So just ask a specific <laughs> question. What would my question be? Oh. <laughs> That's okay. All of us is just me slowly sinking back. Like, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I guess I, I'm not entirely sure what my life's gonna be like after the trip. There's a lot of okay questions. Right. I don't know how to frame that. Like, what is what's in store for me for the future? I know. See, that's the thing. How it's do like, I, uh, what can I expect after this road trip? Okay. Just like one card of what you can expect after this road trip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please say a good one. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This is fun though. Like either I know, way, I that's how it should be. It's just that's fun. The, okay, <laughs> I'm like, just gonna. It's like the magic time. eight ball. Come yeah, on, it is. Put more Give like me the red ball. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see, because now I'm more nervous. Okay, what's my life gonna be like after this road trip is over? What can I put in the future? We can always edit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want everyone to know. <laughs> All right, come so back to it and over. <gasps> oh, forget so, it. Was it bad? <laughs> I don't know. It looks bad, though. <laughs> Look at this card. It looks <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe this is the deck. Is death? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. But still, I don't like it all. Seven of swords. Poking at her. Yeah, she's running like, away. Like, this one would have been better. <laughs> yeah. Look at <gasps> passage. This is maybe... Well, Ooh. let's see. Well, okay. let's see what okay. she says. It may be worse than... Okay, to escape from the opposition you are encountering, you must be logical and persistent. Mm. Uh, you must face the facts that troubles are often self-created and that only by identifying and eliminating repeated negative patterns of behavior will you cease to add to your energies to the opposing forces. Okay. Does that make any sense? I don't know. I mean... Read it again. One okay. more time. <laughs> to escape from the opposition you are encountering. So I don't know what that would be. That would be maybe the aftermath of coming yeah, back. Yeah, uncertainty is what yeah. it feel like for me. You must be logical and persistent. Okay. You must face the fact that troubles are often self-created and that only by identifying and eliminating repeated negative patterns of behavior will you cease to add your energies to the opposing forces. Okay. It's not that bad. No, it feels pretty realistic. I mean, especially yeah. since so much of it is, I it's just don't know. Picture. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess what it is, like, it, it explains, yeah, I guess what you're saying is like that you don't know. Since I don't know, it's, I guess it's, maybe I just need to, once I figure it out, if I figure it out, I gotta make sure that I'm kind of staying on the path for whatever it is right. instead of, I don't know if it's like being wishy-washy or just, I, th I think I've all writers are just created that struggle say, with self doubt, and I think the worst thing I could do is just doubt myself and not go right full force. So I know for me, it's like uh, that resonates with me. I, you know, I don't know so much about you, but for me, it's like the eliminating repeated negative patterns of yes, behavior yeah. because I have a lot of negative patterns yeah. that I, I would love to break. Yeah. Um, and I guess if you really examine the card, um, like it says, a young woman tries desperately to escape a hail of seven swords falling from the clear blue sky, but on her face is a resigned expression, suggesting that this terrifying situation was not totally unexpected mm -hmm. and may in fact be of her own making. So I guess what it's kind of trying to say is that um, it's like she's all like, like maybe you're expecting. Yeah, that could be. And it's not really the case. Yeah. So that's, it. that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's not totally positive, but it's not totally negative. Yeah, it's, maybe it's what I needed to hear. Like, yeah, I, the, I think I do have a lot of <laughs> at least for this video. At least, yeah. <laughs> turn it off, and I'm like, this is awful. this was horrible. Why would you make me do that? This is like the worst experience I've ever had. You know, this is, you know what? I'm okay. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. I still feel like you need another one. <laughs> Let me, because it's my deck, let me, um, let me do a one card reading oh. of, for you. Okay. See what comes up. And if it's bad, then we're just burning this deck. 
Just done. One card to represent this journey yeah. that you're going on right now. Oh, that fell off. A two of swords. That's much better. Uh, <laughs> it looks what better. Swords? It's got a moon in it. It's interesting, though. Balance. Mm, I like balance. <laughs> yeah. Balance is good. Although you must be on guard to prevent time spent in contemplation from being a period of stalemate or procrastination. <laughs> what, mm -hmm. Procrastination, writer? Yeah, okay. never. <laughs> never. This is a time, oh, so, okay, this is interesting. This is a time for considering the viewpoints um, held by others, oh, maybe not. Uh, compromise is at the heart of diplomacy and through diplomacy, much may be won that cannot be gained through aggression. Though you may not possess all the pieces of the puzzle, for the time being, let things stand as they are. That makes no sense. I definitely do not have all the pieces of the puzzle. I know, this. but this just doesn't make any sense. These don't make any sense. No. <laughs> I keep buying this deck because I love it so much. It's really pretty. It is really pretty, but do you see what I mean? This yeah. Is, this is kind of what I'm talking about when I say like a deck doesn't work. Um, it's not that it's like bad cards. It just doesn't It make just sense. doesn't. Connect. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. Let's use the deck that I love. Not that I don't love this deck, but obviously this deck doesn't work for me. Yeah, you much. can tell you really love this one. <laughs> I know this one has like 20 years. It's like it's been with me for a long time. So let's do three cards. Three cards. Three cards of advice for the journey you are currently on. Three cards of advice. Now this one you should smoosh because it does matter smoosh. if it's upside down. This one was better. Was better. This one was better. Yeah. All right. Well, even though I wanted to show you a new deck, which I still showed you, I probably won't <laughs> be using this deck. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably try it again. You know yeah. what? What'll probably happen is that if I do use this deck again and someone else uses it and it works for them, You're I'll be probably like, end up just take it. Just keep just gifting it out. <laughs> take freaking deck. This deck, like, I love this deck, but for some reason, the last, I guess, three. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it some time. Yeah. It needs to sit a little. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Obviously, or, or either that or this deck is just like, no, you can oh, use me. That's why it's like that. <laughs> it's your deck. He's actually the fox. He's all like, no. <laughs> um, all right, well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> As you can see with tarot cards, sometimes cards don't make any sense. And that's okay because that's kind of how you know if a deck is working for you, if it makes any sense at all. Because that, that reading we did for Kate, it didn't, it was kind of a gumbly gook. And uh, the first time I bought this deck, um, it worked for me. Like the cards were really like dead on and accurate. And then they just started becoming the same way, just sort of gumbly gook. This deck really is beautiful though. I mean, that's why I keep on buying it. Uh, as you can see from the artwork, artist Amy Zerner, she basically puts fabrics together and puts them in sort of this crazy artwork that they look like quilts. Um, I even read somewhere, I think she actually made some of these quilts. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she did. It's beautiful. And you know me, I love sewing, I love fabric. So to have that kind of combo and that look, it's just, it's so me. So it's very frustrating that these cards don't always work for me. They're very, they're, they're very temperamental, these cards. <laughs> I had such a great time with Kate. It was so awesome meeting her in person because it's, it's weird. It's like I see her every week. <laughs> I feel like we already knew each other. It's such a surreal thing, YouTube, uh, because you we comment back and forth. And so we had this dialogue. So when we actually met in person, it's just kind of picked up and it was great. So I had such a good time. Thank you, Kate, so much for coming and seeing me. I am still so insanely impressed and excited for you that you were doing this eight month road trip. That's amazing. You are amazing. And so glad we finally got to meet. Check out Kate's channel in the link below. She's amazing. You must subscribe to her. You probably already are if you're watching this. <laughs> But I love you, Kate. You're amazing. So thank you guys so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Um, and thank you guys so much for joining, and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Yay. 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 What do these cards want to tell you, Snake? You show me.
Yeah. Okay. All right. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You can clean yourself on the cars. Oh, you licked this one. Okay. Okay. He licked the card. What is it? It is the Prince of Pentacles. <laughs>